Ryan Ferguson writes, AMC Movie News behind the scenes. Love the show and the new shows you've put into production. Recently, you answered a viewer mail asking if you ever need a break from movies. In it, you gave a small glimpse into all the supporting responsibilities that you have and the effort it takes to put out all of the content you provide. Have you ever considered releasing a one-off or a short series of episodes of behind the scenes slash day in the lifestyle shows that highlights what it takes to make the donuts there at AMC Movie News? (laughs) As consumers, I think we can sometimes take for granted the amount of effort and dedication it takes to create a quality product that we want to return to day after day. And it would be cool to see just how that is done. Thanks and keep up the great work. Um, I'll start the answer to this one with the way I answer a lot of questions about, hey guys, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? I, I simply don't think we're big enough that people will be interested in a behind the scenes documentary of what happens and how, how does AMC Movie Talk get put together. But aside from that, um, it's, it's an interesting concept but then how do we do that? We don't have the money to hire some documentary crew to follow us around. Dennis is quite busy uh, doing what he's doing, thank you very much. His production guys, Ray and, and Jonathan, they're quite busy, so no one has time to kind Periscope. of document. Periscope. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Christian <laughs> Harloff has just answered the question. Follow me on Periscope, and I'm gonna do, every time I'm on, every time I'm on, I'll do behind the scenes. How about that? You think I was joking earlier said he followed me into my office this morning? Hey, John. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? I felt like Robert Downey Jr. What are we doing? Yeah, what's <laughs> going on here? Um, so it's an interesting concept. I I, I I, just don't know that it would be that interesting. Okay, let me take that back. I would hire a doc- documentary film crew just to follow Ashley Mova around, mm-hmm. just to catch the things that she says. Oh, that is true. The well, if you listen, to, El- if you listen to Ellis, follow her around four or five years ago. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm telling you, Ashley says the best stuff off camera, always right before we start shooting. No, I don't. (laughs) No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know, Christian, like you're a content creator. Do you think there's something here? Yeah, I do. I think that, um, but but like you said, we just right now we just can't do it because poor Dennis and Jonathan and, and Ray back there, they don't, they just can't do it right now. But it would be awesome to some of the stuff, the conversations we have beforehand. Even the fans sometimes will be like, "What's the inside joke?" Sometimes you catch some of the inside yeah. jokes. Some inside jokes probably could never be on. <laughs> um, but there are a lot of there's a lot of stuff. Like even some of the conversations are really cool when we're just hanging out back there. there like are, we can break a into Marvel talk or DC talk or Star Wars talk or a classic. Film Follow talk. us to lunch at Barney's yeah. Grass Street. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, seriously, I mean, there's, there, I think chilling. that what what Eat we do, yeah, what we do differently, and I, and I really got this, and I don't think I had a chance to say this on on air yet. Star Wars Celebration, the fans were really one of the coolest things that made that experience. Is this really. somehow going to become a point about Darth Plagueis? No, it's not. <laughs> it is not. It is not. It is. It's, it's going to be about a point about the AMC Movie Talk fans oh, because okay. they were awesome. They were so great, and what it has done, what, what we've done here is, yeah, we're just people who share our opinions on film, but. We are on camera. We are. We do show our personalities here, you know. And people res- either respond to that or they don't respond to that. And I think we have a responsibility sometimes to uh, we not sometimes we always anytime to greet a fan, let them know how I, I always thank you for watching, thank you for watching because that to me means the world that someone cares that much about what we do. So if they really do care about what we're doing to make all of this mm. as well as being on camera, yeah, I think that's something. If when we're able to, that we should do. Yeah, I don't think we have the manpower to put right. up more videos on YouTube than we currently do <laughs> because we're already, these guys are working at full yeah. capacity to get all the shows up and running. But I think Periscope could be a good solution yeah. that each of us have our own little thing and we can show what we're doing. I mean, it'll be fascinating to watch me watch 16 movies for Rewind. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, told, Dennis, told, sorry, Dennis told me he actually almost deleted this email so we didn't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> to, make, to drive the point home, like about how busy our production team is, like, like yesterday, I, this is an absolute true story. I'm, I've got a, do, a, a documentary. I've got a editorial that's going to come out in the next couple of days uh, called the, the Five Reasons Batman vs. Superman is Going to Work. Um, and I came into the studio side here and I went up to Ray. I went up to Ray's desk. I'm like, hey, Ray, okay, I'm going to do this uh, editorial on the five reasons I need uh, five graphics. And he looked at me. I swear to God, I thought he was going to cry. <laughs> I thought he was going to cry. He's like, so ju- and he pulls up this list. I got to do all this before tomorrow, man. I'm like, Never mind. <laughs> but the fans are really interested and they're so nice as well. I got stuck in a lift for an hour, an elevator, sorry. I got stuck in an elevator for an hour the other day. I was going to say like the pink mustache. Stuck <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so in an elevator for an hour and, and all the fans of Movie Talk uh, kept me in company while I was on Twitter going, help, <laughs> I feel sick and I'm claustrophobic. 